morning, I'm Chuck Tamblin with Discovery Day Marine Gear, and I'm here today with Lieutenant Wartick of the NOAA ship Fairweather. And we're here today delivering what would be our fifth uh, power hauler for their missions up in Alaska. So, this is the NOAA ship Fairweather. It's uh, one of NOAA's uh, premier hydrographic research vessels. And uh, we, uh, with this ship, does uh, ocean floor mapping and charting primarily. We're also a multi mission platform, so we do oceanographic work, work as well. But our primary mission is ocean floor mapping, um, and uh, this ship primarily works in Alaska and the Arctic, and uh, so it's some very harsh conditions, um, very rugged and remote locations that we're working on. And, uh, and so we, we have four, four survey launches that are each fully outfitted with uh, multi-beam and side-scan sonar systems for, for mapping um, near coastal waterways to commerce. And, uh, commercial and recreational marine traffic. Say, so that's pretty much our primary mission. Now your boat. Uh, it's a how big is the boat here? It's a 231 foot um, ship, and uh, each of our four launches are 32 feet. Uh, how long is your mission? We uh, will typically sail um, from from Seattle or Newport, Oregon, in uh, in late March, early April. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll be on a project, different projects throughout um, Southeast Alaska, all the way up to Alaska, or sorry, the Arctic, um, um, typically until about November. And uh, we stay out, we'll stay out to sea for about two, two to three weeks at a time, then we'll pull into a local port wherever our project is at. Where's your mapping taking you this year? This year we're going to be uh, we're going to be starting out in Southeast Alaska, in Prince of Wales, um, the south western part of the Wales, and then uh, we're going to be going to the Shumagat Islands, and then uh, all the way up to Barrow. So. I'm Tamlin again with Discovery Bay Green here, and we're now on one of the working skiffs of the NOAA ship Fairweather, and Lieutenant Mordick is going to explain the missions of these boats and how our equipment and theirs be used. Lieutenant? So we use these skiffs for uh, doing hydrographic survey work um, near, closer to shore than what the ship can do. So these boats are in and out um, of uh, small harbors and, and bays and inlets and stuff like that, um, doing survey. And uh, as we're as we're surveying with our multi-beam, um, we have to correct for a refraction as the uh, as the multi-beam is pinging in different types of water. And so we have to we have to deploy a CTD about every hour to two hours, and uh, it goes down and, and uh, collects data to characterize the water column. And uh, so for deploying that. We, uh, we use pot hauler. Um, this thing weighs about 50 or 60 pounds, I guess. And uh, it, it'll go down anywhere from um, 10 meters to, to 200 meters of water. And this is our model 921. It's a, a 2.3 horsepower, 91 gear ratio. It is pulling about 110, 120 feet a minute. <laughs> and I guess you're using a 3 8 line yep. on here. Okay. Um, Got a custom installation mounted directly to the rail, and this one's been in use since last year. Yep. Okay. And we've got we said a total of five that's going on board, and we'll show you the rest a little bit later. Um, no, right? no, no. Okay. We just use the pop boards on the launches. Okay. The but ship, the, the the information coming from the yeah. sensors are going yeah. here. Yeah. We we all gets tied together. And, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Chuck Campbell. Yeah, I, I went with Ryan. Oh, that's right. Think, yeah, yeah. Ryan, right. Yeah. So, he's actually our chief survey tech. Oh, okay. So, um, but yeah, this is this is acquisition. This is where we control the ship sonars, and uh, this, we have an operator here who uh, is is uh, ensuring that all the data that's coming in is is good. He's uh, monitoring um, you know, a whole bunch of different things. We got it takes a lot of different sensors and everything to to run, and so he's monitoring all of that. And, and coordinating with the bridge officers to to making sure the ship is surveying in the right spot and uh, going the right speed and, and all that kind of stuff. So now, when the, your folks are out there, is the information being recorded and brought back, or is it live back? Nope. It's uh, each each of the launches has its own server mm -hmm. and, uh, and and network on board, and so all the data is recorded locally on the on the on the launch. And then at the end of the day, we transfer the data to the ship's network, and uh, and then do the, the all the processing and data analysis on the ship. 
and that's what all these workstations are for. This, each of these workstations are data processing and analysis is, is what we use them for. And when we're underway on project, everyone is computers will have someone sitting at them and they'll be looking at data, um, flying correctors, um, making sure that we have um, high quality data and, uh, and we don't have any problems and stuff like that. Okay, thank you.